Head off in the middle. My LG G2 only had can record so much and then it stops by itself. Uh, so I was cut off in the middle. Uh, so what I, what I was saying is, uh, you know, uh, if they had a rate, a rate five, at least rate five on here, it would have been much, much better uh, board, but they don't. I guess Intel Atom uh, does not support that, uh, any sort of uh, rate other than uh, rate zero and rate one, which, you know, rate zero is okay, but you can get the performance, but in a data server, uh, you want performance, uh, you know, plus uh, security. And you can get it from uh, Windows Storage Spaces, but, you know, uh, it's not, uh, uh, Windows Storage Spaces, space, the storage spaces is very recent. Uh, it has its own benefits uh, uh, and then some drawbacks. RAID has its own benefits and some drawbacks, but, I'll, you know, uh, if the option was there, it would have been better. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, go software rate or hardware rate, um, but if the option is there for the customer to choose, it's better. Um, um, would I use this uh, board uh, for my my data? Probably not. You know, I'll, I'll probably use it for data that is... Uh, data that it that's not very important you know for streaming videos and stuff like that i would use it for that but if my critical data no uh, business data uh, you know uh, my home videos and stuff like that home you know kids pictures and stuff like that i wouldn't use it because it doesn't have hardware raid uh, now a prop i would use it you know like if uh, i had another you know dedicated uh, rate card you know I, you can install in here a dedicated rate card and use that but then you know the setup ports on board are useless um so you know you can you can pick up a used uh uh perk h310 dell uh, with eight ports for about i think i paid about 55 bucks for this rate card about three of them uh, so you know you, you could install that in there but then you will you know because it's mini itx you won't be able to install like a usb 3.0 uh, expansion card like this one uh, or if you needed added uh, gigabit ports for more uh, speed you know uh, transfers between the server and the computer uh, then you know you can either do one or the other so um, even though the board is a great board it has tons of features uh, Asus has a couple of boards uh, that uh, uh the, the, they lack in certain uh, certain areas but for a storage server you know i wouldn't install 64 gigs of ram it's just there's no need for it 16 gigs is more than enough 32 gigs you know more than enough aces has a couple of boards uh they have uh, uh similar cpus but much more uh sata ports uh and uh and more gigabit ethernet port they don't have usb 3.0 either which is a bummer uh i was hoping that you know somebody else would come with uh, with a board that they would have usb 3.0 because for me it's very important uh, now with if, if i went with the i would use uh even though it doesn't have dedicated raid i would use uh uh, uh asus's board and for my for my own uh data for my critical data uh, uh where you know because because they already have uh multiple uh uh, uh they have four uh, gigabit ethernet ports uh, so i don't have to use the add-in card to get more bandwidth uh out of the more data you know more speed out of uh, my data transfers and they have plenty of sata ports so i don't have to put uh, uh i can do a storage spaces uh and then add either because they have so many uh i can add a, a pcx you know a, a rate card for my critical data to where you know my critical data uh, is backed up uh, in a hardware rate and then store spaces for you know from my movies and stuff like that uh so you know and because they have um uh, uh, uh because they have the the setup ports on i mean the four gigabit ports on board already uh i don't have to start another gigabit port to get you know that 
uh, 4 gig data transfers. So right now what I have is I can't use the rate card, um, uh, the rate card uh, on this port. I have to use the gigabit Ethernet port. I have this Intel gigabit Ethernet port that gives me two extra ports or uh, more speed uh, for my, you know, because the data that that's on here is used, you know, for day-to-day -day use. I'm not really worried about the security. Uh, you know, if I lose my movies or my porn collection, I don't care. Uh, you know, I can re-download them or, you know, take my DVDs and rip them again. Uh, but critical data, you know, home, you know, home videos and stuff like that, pictures and some other, you know, old, old uh, 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 movies or whatever that you have that, that can't be found again or you can't get them uh, easily again, uh, then, uh, you know, you need dedicated RAID. So I would definitely get a dedicated RAID with one of these systems and just, they have their drawbacks. Um, you know, either you you go with more speed or more security. In this case, I, I need more speed. Uh, I'm gonna be regularly backing up, because uh, uh, what I'm gonna be using this for is uh, my, uh, because it's an eight core CPU and I can put a bunch of uh, RAM on here. Uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, uh, for my uh, web server and that server is going to be you know backed up constantly so I'm not really w worried about that much uh, uh, about you know losing the data because you know my my website is saved in two different locations uh, I'm saving it here on my uh, on my uh, my local server and then uh, it's also being saved somewhere else so, you know, if in case it crashes, I can recover easily. Uh, but I'm still using the RAID card for added protection. So, you know, the critical data, you know, the, the core components of the website will be saved on here for extra performance, faster performance and faster, uh, uh, even faster drives uh, and, uh, and the rest of the stuff, you know, stuff that I use on day-to-day -day basis, they will be on the board. So thanks for watching. I know the video is pretty long. So, you know, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like, if you think the video sucked, my information was garbage, thumbs down. Um, yeah, thank you. Have a great day. And my video is going to improve as we go. Since I'm new to YouTube, uh, my videos are kind of long. Uh, but that will get shortened. Uh, stay tuned for another video. We're going to set this uh, bad boy up uh, in my DS380 uh, case. Uh, we'll have a review for the DS380 case as well. So stay tuned and please subscribe. So as soon as I upload the videos, uh, you can see them. We'll also run some benchmarks. I'm going to install Windows Server 2012 Essentials on here. Uh, we'll run some benchmarks in another video. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. Take a look at that if you like. If you don't like, if you think this video is terrible, then definitely don't subscribe. If you like my videos, if you like the style of the videos, uh, then definitely subscribe. It does help us a lot. Um, what else? Please, 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 please. Click on the videos that pop up on there because that helps us a lot. Have a great day. I have to go here, turn the camera off. I need a cameraman.